Thank you for joining me tonight. It's Female Fridays, and tonight we're going to be running some female energy along with our personal power. Now, our personal power is another word for our kundalini energy. So I tricked you a little bit. You didn't know you are going to be running kundalini energy tonight. But what your kundalini energy is, is in its most simplistic form, is your own natural healing vibration. So we're going to get that kick started tonight and run that through our energetic bodies while we're running our female energy for a really nice healing. And then after we run our, um, our kundalini for a little bit, then we're going to turn it off. So I'm going to teach you how to turn it off because it's a powerful energy and I want you to be able to sleep tonight. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and begin by grounding. You can close your eyes and seat yourself comfortably in a chair. Put your feet flat on the ground, hips distance apart. And go ahead and say hello to the base of your spine, which is where your first chakra is. And we're going to create a grounding cord there. And you can do that by drawing a simple line of energy from the base of your spine down through the chair that you're sitting in, down through the floor, down through the dirt, the rocks, the rubble, deep into the center of the planet and tie that line of energy firmly to the center of the planet. Once you've anchored that line in, gravity automatically works with it and with you to help you release whatever foreign energy you want to release. And that's what we're going to be doing tonight is releasing foreign energy while we give ourselves a little clean out. All right. Now with that grounding cord, let's go ahead and start to release energies from the day. Could start by releasing um, responsibility. I always like to start by releasing responsibility. And you might actually feel some of the tension of responsibility in your head or your jaws, your neck. And wherever you might feel or sense that energy, go ahead and um, see if you can just allow it to release and travel down past your body, down into that grounding cord. And go ahead and um, say hello to any judgment in your space. You can release that too. Any opinions from people today that um, went against your own, say hello to that. And let that release. And um, I'm just going to adjust a couple of your grounding cords. They're not quite to the center of the planet. You really want to make sure you're grounded to the center of the planet. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now we're going to add the female grounding. And that is a grounding cord underneath your uterus. And that grounding cord just drops right into your main grounding cord. So with the main grounding cord, I like to use the image of a tube because you can drop another grounding cord inside the main grounding cord if you visualize it as a tube. You can use whatever visual you want, though. I just wanted to throw an idea out there for you to use. And that um, uterine grounding cord drops into the main grounding cord. And then you're going to draw a line of energy from each of your ovaries into the uterine grounding cord. Good. And now you're also going to ground your sciatic nerves, which come up by your butt dimples, into your, um, your uterine grounding cord.
Good. Now you can just put everything on release and we're going to ground your female creative energy out in front of your abdomen. That's the next step in the female grounding. And I like to talk about that in the visual of a basketball. Now, it's probably not going to look like a basketball before you start grounding it, but that's kind of what you want to bring it down to is once you ground that female energy, uh, it should start to concentrate there in front of your abdomen. And so imagine putting a giant um, tube out in front of your abdomen and imagine that female creative energy that's getting generated right out in front of your abdomen is being grounded to the center of the planet now. And as you ground that female creative energy, let's start by releasing demands from it. Everybody's demands for your creative energy. Whatever energies those are demanding of you, I always like to start with friends and family just because we're around them a lot. So their energy may very well be in that space and say hello to anyone or any energy that's demanding of you right now and release that. You know, sometimes people demand from you because they just want a hello. I was just looking at the energy and some of you, there are people that all they want is a hello, but they put demands in your space because they really want your attention. So you might take a look at who's in your female creative energy um, demanding from you. And perhaps some of them might just want a gold rose with a hello in it, just so that they know that, um, you're saying hello to them. And then the other energy that's always important to clear from this female creative energy is expectations. Kind of, it's similar to demands, but it's a little different. And you know what I see as you're releasing expectations, that's, that's an energy that makes you really tired and fatigues you, is uh, the energy of having a lot of expectations on you. So this will be a nice healing to click, uh, clear that energy. You'll, you'll get a nice chunk of your own energy back. And as you ground that female creative energy, what we want to do is get it to a nice vibration that's clear of foreign energy. And then you're going to kind of roll it up the front of your aura. And you can take your hands and gently roll it up the front. And that's a way for you to start filling your aura full of that female energy. Good. Good job. Well, I believe we are ready to run a little personal power now. 
Your personal power is your kundalini energy, and where it gets generated is at the base of your spine. It's actually right under the base of your spine, and it's called an amplifier, your kundalini amplifier. And if you just start to put a little of your attention on that amplifier, it will start to generate your own natural healing energy. And where we're going to run it, or how we're going to run it, is up our front channels. And those front channels go from the base of your spine up through each of your seven main chakras and then out the top of your head. So it's pretty much a straight line from the base of your spine up to the, the top of your head, the center of your head, and out the top. So let's go ahead and start to say hello to that kundalini energy. You might start to notice if you can feel um, a sensation as you go to turn that amplifier on. You might feel warmth, heat. You might feel, I don't know, you might feel a little prickly or something if you haven't utilized it for a while. Good, I can see you getting it getting it started. It's getting generated right there underneath that first chakra. And the first, um, we're actually going to let it run right up into that first chakra and use it as a healing. Now remember, your first chakra is like a, a, a wheel that spins flat, not round and upright, but flat uh, at the base of your spine. And so if you want to visualize that flat spinning wheel and that kundalini energy coming up and filling up that wheel. That's a great way to clean it out. You have seven main chakras in your body that are all stacked up one on top of the other. And the um, energy channels that we're using pass through each of those chakras. So this kundalini energy is going to give you a chakra healing tonight. Now that kundalini energy that's getting stirred up in your first chakra is... Um, kind of clearing out and stirring up some survival pictures. Um, yeah, some energy that has been blocking you with money is coming out. And as that kundalini energy comes up through the first chakra, you can let it run up into the second chakra. That's the one in your abdomen. And that chakra for um, us ladies holds our both our emotional and sexual information. So that's always a really good chakra to clean out. And we're going to let that kundalini run, uh, energy run right through it, get it spinning properly. Now, the funny thing about the second chakra is it's set up differently than the first chakra, so it's not spinning flat, it's spinning upright. So if you were to look at it, it looks like uh, you could use like the um, a circle. And I, I'm seeing a lot of emotions coming out. This is great. That Kundalini's, it's a very powerful energy and it's clearing a lot of old emotions out.
That's so interesting. I'm looking at a lot of energy, um, like problems with female friends, like um, women having problems with other female relationships. Oh, it's cleaning out the um, female competition in the second chakra. That's what's going on. Now you can let that kundalini energy run up through your third chakra. That one is placed in your solar plexus. This is your chakra that has your willpower information and your um, and your in information on how to move energy about your body to keep the energy regulated. This chakra, when it's spinning um, and is in its healthy state, is a yellow. And um, I actually see your chakra as a as a light yellow tonight. You've got a good a good spin on that. It's a lot of energy coming out of the digestive tract right now, um, digestive issues. And actually, as we go on tonight, in just a few minutes, we're going to actually use this kundalini to clean out another space. And that kundalini is going to come up from the third through the heart chakra, which is right in the center of your chest. This chakra holds your information on self-affinity and liking yourself. You can just let that kundalini flow through the chakra, washing it out. Then let it flow from the heart chakra on up through the throat chakra. That's where you have your clear audience and your ability to hear energy, as well as your ability to hear your own inner voice, which I like to think of as your highest counsel. Now, as this kundalini comes up through the chakras, it actually ribbons up through them. You might be able to see that as you're, if you're looking at this out on your screen while you're running energy. And then from the throat chakra, it travels on up through the chakra in the center of your head, which is your clairvoyant chakra. That's where you have your information on seeing energy. And it's going to clean out that the center of the head right now.
one of the biggest energies I see coming out of everyone is no. No, you can't. Doesn't matter what it is. No, no, you can't. So this kundalini energy is great for cleaning out no's. And then after it cleans out the center of your head, we're going to let that kundalini energy run right up out the top of the crown chakra. And you can let that kundalini kind of spray up through the top of your head like a whale spout so that as it comes up, try to get it spraying about three feet. It can wash out all the seven layers of your aura. That's good. That's a nice healing. Now that you have that um, that going on, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you, while you're sitting there grounding, still keep grounding, with your eyes closed, I'd like you to put a rose up on your screen, just the symbol of a, the flower of a rose, and let the color of that rose represent your kundalini energy so that you can take a look at what it looks like tonight. What color is it? We're going to put a grounding cord on that rose so that you can ground the kundalini um, color. Let you see what that looks like. If you find any dark energies or whites, grays, cloudy stuff, go ahead and just take the time to ground those so that you can see what your kundalini looks like. And what you're looking for is the highest and brightest color in that rose. We want to see what that kundalini energy looks like at, at its um, optimum. Once you have that kundalini rose grounded, what we're going to do is create a rose to the left of it, and that rose is going to represent your health. And we're going to use your kundalini vibration as a healing agent to clean out your health space. And how we do that is we just start arcing some of the color of that kundalini rose into the rose that you created to the left of it that represents, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, you're going to arc the energy of the kundalini rose into the other rose. Representing your health. Sorry, I should have said that. And you, you can ground the rose that represents... Um, your health. And I would just run as much of that kundalini through your health rose as you want and let that um, color run down the grounding cord so that that kundalini goes all the way through that rose and cleans it out. It's a lot of apathy and effort coming out of everybody's health space.
Yeah, that kundalini is actually starting to work on your cells now. And I can see it starting to like um, put some energy back into your cells and rebalance them. All right. That was a great healing for your health. Um, now go ahead and create a gold sun and fill in that rose for your health with gold. Blow that rose up. You can blow up the rose representing your kundalini vibration and create a gold sun above your own head and fill yourself in with a gold sun. And now we're going to turn the kundalini off. And this is the important part. What you're going to do is create an ice blue sun. So it's not really a sun, you could call it a blue moon above your head, icy blue. And we're going to bring that in through the crown and bring it all the way through the body so that icy blue goes down the um, all the energy channels. We're going to stop that kundalini. I'm just going to turn it off. Go ahead and create an icy blue moon above your head filled with icy blue energy. And when you can feel that cold on top of your head, bring that icy blue moon through you, bring it all the way through you, let that cold, cold blue energy go through your energy channels and turn that kundalini off. Now, some of you, what I'm noticing, um, might find that it's a little uh, tough to turn that kundalini off. And I notice there's about three of you in the class tonight that have beings that are anchored into your kundalini, which I'm helping you separate from tonight. Um, but that's something for you to pay attention to in the future. You might notice when you go to turn your kundalini on. Um, that it's hard to turn it off. And that that is a being. If that's something you want to get corrected, by all means, call me and I'll, I'll um, take a look at that for you. So I'm just helping the three of you that have that issue right now move those out. And Jessica, you can also be saying hello to those two, please. Good, and I'm watching everybody cool themselves down, bring in another ice cold blue sun. I keep calling it a sun, but it's really a moon, a blue moon. And then go ahead and start to think about what you would like to fill yourself in with because you got a great clean out. So think of an energy vibration that sounds good to you right now, um, whatever that vibration might be. Um, you know, health, wealth, success, vitality, enthusiasm. Yeah, start to fill yourself in. And after you've filled yourself in with some big gold suns, you can open your eyes and come on out of trance. Good job. Very good. I have an announcement coming up about next week. Next Wednesday night is the erasure event. And that's going to be a really cool thing to just come sit and enjoy the healing because we're going to have um, a number of the healing students that 
know how to do a technique called erasures and they're going to sit down and erase what I like to call evil. <laughs> Energies that control, compete, and destroy. And so we're going to be eliminating those from the sanctuary. So if you come to the sanctuary that night, they'll be eliminated from your space too. So you do have to be in the sanctuary that night for the healing. Um, it's a little different than the soul support membership where I know everybody in the membership. So I know who I'm healing, but because this is open to the public, I don't know who I'm healing unless they're actually signed up and registered. So to be in the event, please register. It's free. What do you have to lose except evil? <laughs> so I hope to see all of you next Wednesday night. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be from 7 to about 7.45. It's like our regular healing nights, um, 30 minutes of healing, and then I'll just have a few announcements. So I hope you'll all meet me there for a great healing, and thank you for joining me tonight for Female Fridays. I really enjoyed it. Have a good night. Got my eyes on you. Bye-bye, you guys.